Welcome back guys. It's another beautiful day Morning. on the Finca. It what is. a difference a day makes. If you remember the last video, we had snow on that mountain at the back of us. Uh, beautiful blue skies today, lots of power, already done some washing, already pumped 3,000 litres of water from the deposit in the courtyard into the main tank. Um, yeah, happy days. Fantastic. So what are we on today? We're going to be carrying on, we can get the compressor going, get the air hammer out and carry on turning the old corral, the old animal corral into a fabulous utility room. Yeah. Let's get on with Track it. Crack on. Right, so we're off, we've got the air hammer, we've got the compressor plugged in and we're going to start at the bottom and work our way up. All we're doing is taking off all the old mortar and um, this is a lot more gentler and you can adjust it as well for gentleness. Uh, so it shouldn't mark the stones and just clear out what we want. Um, so let's go. We'll start down here. Ah. That's a bit too gentle, isn't it? So several hours later, <laughs> um, you can see that I've zoomed in a little bit. Um, what we're trying to do is find the outside of the stones and clear uh, the shape of them basically. Um, there's quite a lot of small stones that have been put in um, on the outside that fall out when you do this and as you saw in the last video, that's what Sharon's been putting back in as well. Anyway, we'll carry on. Right, so today we've managed to get all this side done. Um, you can see the outline, or hopefully you can see the outline of all the stones now. Um, there's a few falling out in places like this. Um, it always happens. This is going to be our wavy edge. I'm glad I stopped there, because this was so hard to get out. It's really, really good. So, with no worries on that front. Um, the next thing I think, I'm, I've done this side of the window in there, I'm going to work over the top, do the next side and carry on working that way, but hopefully tomorrow we might be able to get the window in loosely. Um, these, I'll do you a close up in a second, but a lot of these stones, this area is famous for its marble basically, and a lot of these stones are marble chunks of um, fantastic the stuff just falls straight off it but we've also got sandstone mixed in like these and um, the plaster that's on really really sucks into the stone and um, we've got a hell of a job getting it out we had the same problem in the loo it's only the odd one this one and this one I think mainly the rest are all pretty good but um, we use hydrochloric acid or brick clean acid cleaner or whatever um, to dissolve it out and scrub him. But we're going to try, I think, soaking him um, overnight probably to see if that'll soften it up and bring it out a bit. Um, it's a mission. The next thing we've got to do is um, clear up this mess under my foot because there's probably a wheelbarrow full there. Amazing what comes out of the wall. But not a bad day's progress. Don't know if you can see it closely on this one, but the, the plaster's just totally ground into the salt and you can see it's sandstone because there it's quite clean but it should all be that colour <laughs> so hopefully um, we're going to bring them back to the natural colour it'd take a bit of time a lot of effort but that's what we want to see that's a granite one a marble granite there um, that clean off really easy you can't even see that can you I'll lower it down a bit this one is a piece of marble um, they have all glistening bits in them and all sorts, they look fabulous when they're clean. So we'll get cleared up. 
here we go then you know I got all the good jobs um, I'm gonna do this quite methodically um, because a lot of the smaller stones that fell out would need to go back so if I can spot them rather than just throwing them in the skip like that one and that one then uh, it saved me a lot of time going out with my little bucket around the field trying to find some stones to put back when I eventually get to do the pointing. So slowly I uh, shall get this cleaned up and uh, get it in the skip and then tomorrow I'm on with the downstairs loo whilst Andy hopefully gets the window fitted. So Sharon's just de-dusting the mess that I made over there. The joys of living on a building site. I'm actually just going to try and get this wall out of it. Now, um, so we don't get any more mess coming off it, or as little as possible, because we have to um, prepare food and wash up and things in this area. I know we've got the kitchen in there, but we do use it. So we'll try and keep it as clean as we can. Make a mess in the day, clear it up, start again tomorrow. <laughs> It's another beautiful day, um, the area is clear, we're going to carry on raking out the mortar over the head there and working that way um, of the stone we exposed um, the other day. We've got the old air hammer at the ready, the other thing that's not moved is Dolly Tickle, he loves to sit in the sunshine in the window in the morning but I expect she'll move shortly. Air tools, i never mentioned this before but uh, and get it off. All you need a couple of drops of oil down the thing every day. It says on them usually. That's it. And we're good to go. Right, let's do it. room of the house this morning I'm just about to make a mix but I've just come to have a look how it's drying it's just starting at last this first bit I did um, to dry out but it's still soft I can still move it around with my fingers it's incredible I suppose it's been so so wet um, it's going to take a while but yeah it's starting to look a better colour anyway so I'm going to do a mix and crack on um, and if you are wondering when it does go off eventually, it does go absolutely rock hard. This is some that we had big holes um, <laughs> literally through to the outside um, that we filled in a few weeks back now just to stop a few drafts in here. And it's absolutely rock hard. So it does go eventually. It doesn't normally take this long, but as I say, we've had so much rain and it is very damp. Okay, so over the top's done. Both the reveals have done. Um, look at the size of these. Um, you, know, you can make them out on there. Big stone, it's going to look fantastic. Um, I'm going to carry on going that way now, still. And I think by, yes, uh, definitely tomorrow, um, first job is to get this, this lot knocked out and get the window in. Um, I don't want to start it now because I want to make sure I've got a, a full day to do it. Um, but in the meantime, I'm just going to carry on bash beating myself up, beating my hands up with this thing going that way. Well, 
we're getting there. Um, the hardest bit is filling in between the stones and the ceiling without getting it all over the ceiling, which I have done. It's unavoidable, but I'll, I'll wash it off before it dries. Um, but yeah, I'm filling in the big holes first with some stones and um, doing these horrible bits, as I say, along the ceiling. Do the horrible bits first and then it's more pleasurable, isn't it? It's my theory anyway. I'm back on terra firma. I said a balancing on here. Um, only got this bit to do. I don't need to do it under there. It's bone dry. It's going to be the back of a cupboard. Um, it's look, look at the size of that one there. A bit on the surface. Quite clean on the surface. These are just a couple that are going to be. They're going to be hard work to clear up. We know this. Uh, if I can get my glove on, I'll carry on. <laughs> difficult part because it's all over the surface is finding the edge of the stones once you found an edge you can then follow it um, but yeah it just takes forever not very great video footage but if you want to watch eight hours of this you can do let us know in the comments <laughs> There we go, it's done. Um, all we've got to do now is uh, the usual clearing up, give it all a good hoover out, and um, yeah, we're looking, getting ready to get the window in. It's going to look fantastic. We think it is anyway. So I was very happy with the results so far. Don't know if it's a better angle from here. We're not the best photographers in the world. Um, but yeah, that might look a little bit better, a bit clearer on the outlines of the stones. Now's the time. Get it all cleared up once again. Another wheelbarrow for you. Once again, get it all hoovered up, Henry it up. Last little bit, and then I've run out of mortar again. Um, but I've managed to do all the way along the top um, and I've started to fill in down here as well because we've got massive gaps here as you can probably see um, so yeah I'm sort of about here um, not bad for a day's work as I say slow progress <laughs> good oh well we've got where we want it to be um, Obviously we wanted to get the window in um, on this video and we're going to be doing that first thing in the morning. I made an exploratory hole up there so I can see exactly where we are from the outside. Um, so I think first thing tomorrow that's coming out and the window's going in. Hopefully all being well. Um, but yeah it's all cleaned up. Who with all the stones as well. Um, yeah it's looking great. We think it's looking great anyway. Right, so just when you thought you were done for the day, um, this is the window that's going in, and it's pretty close to ground level, as you'll, you'll see later. Um, but we want to put a bar across it. All the windows have got some sort of bar across it in a true Spanish tradition. We're not having a big grill or anything, we don't need that. We're just one bar um, to stop anyone getting in if we leave it open, if we're in bed or whatever. Um, so what, I'm, what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to try and bend a piece of bar that I can screw to the sides here, bend it round, coming out, bend round and then bend back and screw to the side there. So 
when the window goes in, it goes in as a complete unit with the bar across it. Because the bar's in the side, it's going to be foamed and mortared and stuck in. It's not coming out. Uh, not without taking the whole window out, which is not going to happen either. Um, so, I'm going to see if I can do that now, because if I want to fit it tomorrow, I need this to be dry at least, so I can fix it to the window. So, to the workshop. Right, so we've got two sizes of bar we've currently got in stock. One's quite fat and thin, one's a bit thicker, but narrower. I think we're going to use this one because it's quite sturdy. Um, I'm not quite sure how to bend, it's got to be 50 centimetres between the bends and I'm not exactly sure um, how to do that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a line on it and then bend that and see where that line comes out in relation to my radius, if that makes any sense at all. For example, like this, just a line. And I'm going to bend it on that line and see where it comes out. And then I should be able to work out where the other one needs to be. So let's have a go. Right, it's over at the press that I can't actually, I'd like to usually pull it out, but I've got all the, the stuff here, the cement, sand stuff to do the roof, all packed up because it rained and I had to bring it in. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, needs to be tight. I've got that position right on my line, my homemade bending thing, and I'm just going to put a bend in it. All will become clear in a minute. got best laid plans there we go it's out <laughs> right so we've got our bend there and um, I can I can finally tune the angle after um, and I can see that my mark is right in the middle of the radius. So if I actually, yeah, do another mark 50 centimetres, can you see that at all? I don't know. I'm going to measure another mark 50 centimetres because that should be pretty perfect. So let's do it. Right, so I've actually taken 5mm off for that radius and um, there's logic, logic in my madness. And we'll see. There goes nothing, eh? There's two chances. If it's a bit long, I can actually bend the um, bend the outside bit a bit to give us just to pull it in a little bit. Actually, if it's yeah, I can, can't I? But if it's too short, I've had it. So I'm gonna air on the long side a bit. Right, let's just do it. Two chances, isn't there? We can always get a bit creative with it. Aha. Once you've done this once, it becomes easy every time, but I've never actually done it before. Precision bending. Right now. Okay, let's go and see. It's a bit long, so I put a little bend in it. And now both those sides are perpendicular and 50 centimeters wide. So I'm just going to drill a couple of holes in them um, and paint it. In fact, I'm not because it's getting late now. I'm just going to paint it and we can drill the holes in it tomorrow. 
Back in the famous Things to Life paint shop. <laughs> the things we do, eh? Crikey. You can't buy these though, you know. Right, cool, I'll get it done. We'll have to flip it over later when it's dry, but the bulk of it will be done. Right, okay, bulk of it's done. What I'll do, um, first thing in the morning, I'll flip it over, paint it, then by the time I've knocked out the oil and everything, that'll be dry enough, ready to go onto the window. Um, fantastic. Now it's time for a beer. Well, a little bit unexpected last night. Um, I got a call from the guys who are going to help me do the roof. And um, they said they'd come in the morning. I'm like, well, I can't say no. We've had that much bad weather and put them up for that long. Um, you know, I'm, I'm on with the window. So I'm just going to let him get on with it. Fantastic. Um, I'm sure if they need a hand, they'll give me a shout. Um, the bar that I made, I've just painted the other side of it, the underside of it black. That's drying now. Um, yeah, let's have a quick look at the roof. Yep, it's in a right state. <laughs> Half the ridge tiles are missing, there's broken tiles all over it, it's coming in in various places. Looks to the gully above here, as we've said before. Um, as I said before, I'm just going to let them get on with it, I'm going to crack on with this window. The more than competent, the guy's been at it, he's been a roofing abanil, they call them, um, for years and years in Spain. He's very, very good, that's why I asked him to help me. Um, he doesn't need my help, he said, he's just going to crack on. Right, so these things are never easy. Um, now we've cleared all the rubbish off the, the inside of the window. It's actually wider than we, when doing it was originally, obviously. Um, these windows come in standard sizes, that's why they're such a, a great price. Um, but the next size up, we're going to have a little gap on the side now, slightly bigger than I thought, but the next size up won't fit. Um, so what we're going to do, first of all, I'm going to knock that out and um, wedge it top and bottom and then have a look we'll have to fill the sides in but we'll do it with nice stones but essentially what we wanted to see is these big stones at the side of it which is what we're going to do so let's get it knocked out Right, so what we've done, we've knocked out all the stones to try and, when we put it in, we don't want two straight lines either side of the window, obviously filled in. So we're going to key it in this way. Um, but yeah, we're just going to dust it off now. I need to fit the um, grill, the bar to it. Then we get it wedged in place. The first thing we need to do, of course, is attach our newly manufactured bar to it. Um, so go and see if the coat of paint I put on it a, a little bit ago is dry drill a couple of holes in it and get it fixed to the window not to this side of course because this is the way it opens to the other side <laughs> right so we've got our bar fixed I put two screws in each side um, you can see that on there lovely, lovely bar, I know it's getting in there it has to be very small anyway um, and we won't leave it open when we're out anyway obviously so um, right now the time to get it fitted we need to um, get it in up the top and then wedge it from underneath and take it from there right so it's in it's wedged wedged in every direction and um, it's actually sat on this one at the bottom what i'm going to do i'm just going to put a layer of foam across the top there to and that will lock it in place with the layer of foam in there and this in here we should then be able to take the wedges out then we need to start building up the stonework underneath it either side of this block um, and yeah just keep working our way up first job though I'll get it foamed in to stop it from 
any any movement because it just took us about an hour to get it perfect. Right, okay, so we've got a spot of foam in the top. Um, we've left gaps and stuff because we're obviously going to pack it full of some small stones and mortar. Now we're going to take the dogs for a walk while we let that dry and then come back and start and get this bottom built up. Once the bottom's built up a bit, it's, it's plain sailing then. Alright, so we've changed our minds again. Um, we've re-wedged it because we're going to put this massive stone, you can see that, underneath there's a window sill ledge. It's one of the ones out of the bodega. Um, right under there should look lovely and solve all our problems, or some of them. Right, so we've cleaned all this up, um, ready for our big stone to go in. I just need to chop this offending bit of metal off. It used to be in the bodega, this, what the barrel's sat on. And then we're going to give it a quick brush up and get it in. So I'll get this chopped off first. Need to get this old mortar cleaned off. Good with a wire brush should do it. What we're going to do first is um, bed these two big stones down on top of here um, and they'll bring it up to a, probably a perfect thickness to put the big one on top of them. So Sharon's just going to go, go to mix on and um, yeah, we'll get them set in place. I'm just going to double check the measurements. Right, okay, that's set. Um, it's level in all directions. We're going to leave it exactly where it is and just pack it full all around it. Um, with mortar and some small stones to support it. Then we got a pretty perfect width there to get that massive one in and um, get that set as well. So Sharon's in with the mortar, let's get it in. It's in. Um, I've just pointed this bit up here. I'm just going to fill in now underneath the window and along the top and that should set it in. And then obviously we need to find some stones to do the sides, but at least for today, um, it's in. This has got oh, eat in my hair. This has got a slight fall on it, purposely, so that any water that runs down will run off and not into the window. Um, so yeah, happy days. So this is the inside. Um, this camera's got a wind cut off on it, um, so you miss what Sharon said then because when the wind blows, it cuts everything off. We're, we're still trying to work out how to fix it. We're still learning. But what she said basically was this stone on the outside that's underneath the window, it slopes down ever so slightly, which is deliberate. So if any water does come on, it'll run out and not run in, basically. So we've got the big stone in, we've got the packers underneath it. We're going to build this up into a, a bigger ledge and continue the wall along just the same as what it is and then um, obviously fill in the outsides but we need to find a load of stones the appropriate size nice square ones flat ones and um, to do that but essentially it's saying once it's pointed top and bottom we've got packers in it it's wedged solid and um, we've got to fill it in with mortar and probably put some fixings in it when all the stones have gone off put a couple of additional ones in it um, doesn't do any harm, does it? But right for now, it's stuck, it's solid. Um, as soon as this has gone off top and bottom, we can take our wedges out and work on the sides. Oh, well, the ridge is all done. Chimney's capped off. Um, the gully down here is all um, sealed up. It just wants um, sponging off when the cement goes off a little bit. Well, we've come to the end of another video, another exciting episode. Wow. episode. Um, the window's in, I'm so excited about that, it's just made such a difference, the light in this room already. Um, you probably roof... can't see us because it's so bright there <laughs> yeah. now. The roof started, that's exciting too, so we're making great progress. Yeah, very happy. Um, I'll show you the outside in a second and put a clip of that on. 
um, just so you can see where we're at. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoy, if you want to follow our progress and you enjoy watching our struggles and our battles, <laughs> um, please consider subscribing to the channel. It doesn't cost anything. If you check the little bell next to the subscribe button, select all, YouTube will notify you every time we have a new video, which is currently Thursdays and, and Sundays. Sundays. Um, so yeah, once again, thank you all so much. And we'll see you on Thursday. Thanks, guys.